The question of whether the sun will always shine through Stonehenge at the solstice is fascinating and filled with ancient mystery. These archaeological sites, such as Stonehenge, were constructed to align with the sun on specific days, typically during the solstices. One might wonder if the precession of the Earth's axis would alter these geometric alignments over millennia. However, if you are fortunate enough to stand at the center of Stonehenge during the summer solstice, you will witness the sun rising over the heel stone as it has for thousands of years. The heel stone, erected around 2600 BCE outside the main stone circle, still marks the summer solstice sunrise point approximately 4,500 years later. To understand why the 26,000-year precession cycle does not visibly affect the sun's rising and setting points, imagine the celestial sphere of stars surrounding us. Your horizon forms a circle stretching from north to east to south to west and back to north. Now, envision a bright light at Earth's center projecting our planet's equator onto the celestial sphere, creating the Gi celestial equator. Finally, trace the sun's annual apparent path against the background stars to form another circle, the ecliptic. The sun crosses the celestial equator twice a year at the March and September equinoxes. The sun reaches its highest point above the celestial equator, about 23 and a half degrees, at the June solstice and its lowest point below, about 23 and a half degrees, at the December solstice. Precession causes the Earth's poles to trace a circle on the celestial sphere, bringing our current North Star, Polaris, closer to or further from the North Celestial Pole every 13,000 years. However, precession does not affect the ecliptic or the angle between the celestial equator and the ecliptic, thus not altering the Sun's position relative to the horizon. This relationship among the three circles remains constant over millennia, allowing monuments like Stonehenge to continue marking solar events after 4,500 years. Stonehenge's construction is a marvel of prehistoric engineering. The massive stones, some weighing up to 25 tons, were transported over long distances. It is believed that the builders used a combination of sledges, rollers, and river transport to move these stones from as far as Wales. The exact methods remain a subject of speculation and wonder, adding to the monument's enigmatic allure. This June, the mystery of Stonehenge might become clearer. For 60 years, there has been a hypothesis that a part of Stonehenge aligns with the moonrise and moonset, known as the G Major Lunar Standstill. Despite knowing for decades about the relationship between specific stone placements and the lunar standstill, no systematic observation or recording of the event at Stonehenge has been made. We aim to accomplish this through a project involving archaeologists, astronomers, and photographers from English Heritage, Oxford, Leicester, and Bournemouth Universities, as well as the Royal Astronomical Society. There is now abundant archaeological evidence showing that solar alignment was part of Stonehenge's architectural design. Around 2500 BCE, the people who erected the large stones and dug a road into the chalk appeared to solidify the solstice axis into Stonehenge's architecture. Archaeological evidence from nearby Doington Walls, believed to be where the ancient people who visited Stonehenge stayed, indicates that the largest gatherings during the solstices occurred at the midwinter solstice. Stonehenge also includes other features like 56 pits arranged in a circle, an earthwork, a ditch, and four station stones. These stones, made of sarsen, a type of silicified sandstone common in Wiltshire, are carefully placed to form an almost perfect rectangle around the stone circle. Only two of these stones remain, and they pale compared to their larger counterparts due to their mere few meters height. The rectangle they form is not just any rectangle. The short sides are parallel to the main axis of the stone circle, hinting at their purpose. The long sides of the rectangle surround the outside of the stone circle. It is believed that these long sides align with the major lunar standstill. If you mark the position of the moonrise or moonset over a month, you will see it moving between two points on the horizon. The southern and northern limits of the moonrise or moonset change over an 18.6 year cycle, known as the minor and major lunar standstill. The major lunar standstill is a period of about one and a half to two years when the moon's northernmost and southernmost risings or settings, 
are furthest apart. During this time, the moon rises, or sets, beyond the sunrise and sunset range, potentially imbuing this celestial event with significance. Our strongest evidence of people marking the major lunar standstill comes from the southwestern United States. At Chimney Rock Great House, a multi-story complex built by the ancestral Pueblo people over 1,000 years ago in Colorado's San Juan National Forest, the site holds cultural importance for over 26 Native American tribes. It sits atop a ridge ending in twin rock spires. From the Great House's viewpoint, the sun never rises between these spires. However, during a major standstill, the moon rises between them in an awe-inspiring manner. Excavations revealing preserved timbers allowed researchers to date the construction years of the Great House. Four out of six cut dates correspond to the major lunar standstill years between 1018 CE and 1093 CE, suggesting the site was renewed, maintained, or expanded during consecutive major standstills. Returning to southern England, archaeologists believe there is a connection between the major lunar standstill and the earliest construction phase of Stonehenge before the Sarsen stones were brought in 300 to 2500 BCE. In the monument's southeast quadrant, in the general direction of the southernmost major standstill moonrise, various cremated human remains from this construction phase were found along with three wooden posts set into the shore. It is possible that an early connection existed between the Stonehenge site and the moon, later emphasized when the station stone rectangle was constructed. However, the major lunar standstill hypothesis raises more questions than it answers. We do not know if the lunar alignments of the station stones are symbolic or designed for people to observe the moon through them. We also do not know which lunar phases would be more dramatic to witness. In our future work, we will attempt to answer the questions raised by the major lunar standstill hypothesis. It is unclear whether the moon will be strong enough to cast shadows and how it will interact with other stones. We also need to check whether the alignments can still be seen or if they are obstructed by forests, traffic, or other features. The moon will align with the station stone rectangle twice a month from around February 2024 to November 2025 providing many opportunities to observe this phenomenon during different seasons and lunar phases. To bring our research to life, English Heritage will live stream the southernmost moonrise in June 2024 and host a series of events throughout the year, including talks, a pop-up planetarium, stargazing, and storytelling sessions. Across the Atlantic, our partners at the U.S. Forest Service are developing educational materials about the major lunar standstill at Chimney Rock National Monument. This collaboration will result in events showcasing and discussing lunar alignments at both Stonehenge and Chimney Rock. Modern technology has revolutionized the study of Stonehenge and similar sites. Ground-penetrating radar, LIDAR, and other remote sensing technologies have uncovered hidden structures and provided new insights into the construction and purpose of these ancient monuments. These advancements allow researchers to explore Stonehenge without disturbing its delicate archaeological context, revealing new layers of its enigmatic history. Through these efforts, we aim to unravel the celestial mysteries that our ancient ancestors inscribed in stone and earth, revealing the profound connections they forged with the cosmos. Stonehenge, with its alignment to the solstice sun and the potential lunar standstill connections, stands as a testament to their sophisticated understanding of the heavens. This ancient observatory continues to fascinate and inspire us, as we strive to uncover the secrets it holds within its stones and shadows.